Morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world in the off-grid project. Yesterday, I uh, didn't do much on the property. I was doing a lot of administrative duties, work, paperwork and stuff. Um, guy delivered a mobility type scooter over here yesterday. This is a... Uh, it's called Pace Saver Passport by Leisure Lift. Um, had a bit of an accident one day on the front, I guess, at some time in its life. And the batteries are deader than dead. So I have some lawnmower batteries. I'm going to go dig up some bolts. This is the condition I got it in. And um, the, uh, the wires are just laying here. The batteries are just sitting in here. And they made it easy to change them though. There's Velcro straps holding in. Look at that. So I'm going to put two lawnmower batteries in here, which I happen to have, and see if I can get this to run. See if it works or not. So I'm going to look for a couple bolts. I need four bolts and nuts. And, uh, and give it a try. Working on my kitchen cabinets today. Oh, anyway, working in the cabinets for the kitchen. And what we have here is a very solid top, and we can put stuff on it and a solid frame because this is going to hold a lot of dishes and stuff and so it's got to hold a lot of weight and then I'm going to have it come on down like this so I still got yeah I've got room to screw through that I got a pre-drill and I'm going to put a screw and glue through here now the great thing is the wooden pallet pieces are going to tie all of that in together and give it strength so I've got to cut four legs I have to go back and get some more wood, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, there's the cabinet so far. This is upside down now. I uh, could have made this out of 1x2s, but 2x2s is what I have. And I'm just showing you the status so far. Now, this is, this is upright. Front or back, either way. This is the side, and here's the front or back. And then um, I'll have one single door for that. 23 inches wide on the front, 12 inches deep, and 24 inches high, which will hang right next to the window. Oh wait, baby cat fix. Hi baby cat, how you doing? Huh? Say hi to the people. Hey. Say hi. She's watching me work. I don't let her out recently because of the, um, she, she's fine indoors, but she freaks out outside. Which is sad because she likes to chase chipmunks, but then she gets scared because of all the commotion in the house and then doesn't want to come back in. So anyway, I'm going to put the, uh, the framing on the bottom then. Now, the cross pieces, uh, or the whatever I call it. And then the shelf itself, when that drops in, that's going to become part of the frame. So i got to do some thinking. I'm making this up as I go along. But it's going to be really rugged, rigid, strong, and it's going to really hold itself up well. But again, the shelves are going to be part of the structure itself, part of the supporting structure of the, 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 the shelving that I put in are going to be part of the structure. So I'm going to give it some thinking, and uh, I'll continue on in a few minutes here. I have the KB generator going. Air compressor running, and I'm about to make my first shelf right here. As soon as the air compressor charges up, now I've got the uh, rough cut pallet wood, and I've got it sized up. I'm going to have it. Oh, I've got a couple more pieces, and then that's going to slip down inside and be bolted in place.
to continue and make the other one and then uh, put it all together and then I'll still have to do the sides and the front faces but we'll get it got an LED light going
kitchen cabinet ready to go on the wall. I'm gonna take it in and find out if it fits. Now, I ended up using a piece of plywood for the floor here that gives me more uh, depth of the storage. And I had to use a piece of plywood. Can you see what I'm showing you here in the corner to reinforce it? I was thinking about using a block of wood of two by four or something, but it'll just split, plywood won't. So I screwed that through to fix that broken corner. I am not gonna rip this all apart again because of one piece of split cheap wood. And it's pretty rigid. Now what I did here is there's a center beam here holding these pieces together and one outside here and here and that becomes the actual frame of the part of the frame of the cabinet. So these are nailed onto the frame of the cabinet itself. So it's pretty rigid. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble with this cabinet at all in day-to-day uh, -day use. So I'm gonna take the tripod inside and take my cabinet inside and see if I can mount that into, onto the wall up there and uh, see how it looks. All right, let me see if I bring that in. Well, it's definitely no particle board in that thing. That is not going to be cheap and light. It's not going to be susceptible to the uh, elements. Gonna work smart. Another hand will be good here. Let's see if I can get this up there. It's gonna be a task. So I'm gonna bolt or bolt. I'm gonna screw it onto this two by four up here and onto the supporting beam of the uh, loft here, and then I think I can corner in over here. Wherever there's something for me to tie into, that's what I'm going to use in here. Let me go get my hardware. I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, this is not going to be fun. So you're going to hear some funny noises from me. Uh, it's a struggle. Not as light as I was hoping, but the, the uh, plywood makes it heavy, but it's oh, strong. Definitely going to hold my, uh, my plates and everything with ease. trim it up, but at least it'll work. Well, that's on the, the side stud here. Now i got to put some screws up through. Whew, what a job. Wish I had a step stool. I saw one on sale the other day, and I was thinking, do I need something like that? No, I don't want to use something like that. Now I'm thinking, well, I wish I had something like that. Oh, 
Okay, look at that. Ah. Whew. Took more of them. This is gonna go anywhere when I'm done. I think it's gonna be strong and sturdy. Okay. Yeah, that's rigid. Nice. I'll put a couple more screws in there yet, but if I did my measurements right, I've got a standard 18 inches between countertop and cabinet. I've got a standard 12 inch depth, and I've got a two foot high cabinet to put my stuff in. Nice. Oh, look at that. Now, so I can put my bowls and my plates and stuff in there. Okay. Oh. First kitchen cabinet. I uh, obviously still have to make the door and the trim and the sides. I'll do all that tomorrow. Finish that one up tomorrow right away. And uh, it's going to be really simple. Just cutting that cleaning the pallet wood and then putting it up in there. Baby wants to, oh she wants to play with the uh, string. What do you think baby cat? You're curious aren't you? Yeah I know we've got more noise. And then I left room on the side for the window trim. So good. I'm going to finish putting the screws up in there and securing that. But it's good. I've got a cabinet. <laughs>